Welcome to our tutorial on posting sales invoices from ESE to QuickBooks, which will walk you through the process of posting an ESE invoice over to the QuickBooks accounting software. The first thing to do is to create an invoice in ESE and save it. We'll add an inventory part and a few billing codes to this invoice so you can see how this information is transferred over to QuickBooks. Once the invoice is saved in ESC, it is ready to post to QuickBooks. It is important to note that the following invoice types will not post to QuickBooks. Invoices that are on hold, quote invoices, and invoices that are not within the accounting period you're posting for. To post an ESC invoice to QuickBooks, go into ESC and click on File, Post to QuickBooks. The Post to QuickBooks screen will automatically display the current accounting period that you're presently in, but the invoice number fields will be blank. To post all invoices for the specified accounting period, leave the invoice number field blank and click Post. This will initiate the posting routine between the programs. If you want to just post a particular invoice number, then enter it in the first invoice number field and press the tab key on your keyboard, which will auto-fill that same number in the second field. Click the Post button to start the process. If an invoice is posted already, attempting to repost it will have no effect here. Now that we have an invoice posted from ESC to QuickBooks, let's go into QuickBooks and take a look at it. In QuickBooks, open the customer job list and locate the customer that the invoice was posted for. When you click on the customer, the list of transactions, payments, and journal entries will be displayed. Double-clicking on any of these records will allow you to see their detail. Double-clicking on the invoice itself shows us the QuickBooks copy of this posted invoice along with all of the same line items, prices, and tax totals. Double-clicking on the general journal entries will allow you to see the dollar values associated to the cost accounts being affected from that invoice in QuickBooks. Now, if it becomes necessary that a change must be made to a posted invoice or you need to delete the invoice, you can reverse this process by bringing up the invoice in the ESC invoicing screen. Once the invoice is displayed in ESC, if it has been posted, you will see a warning message indicating that the invoice has indeed been posted over to QuickBooks. This message also provides further information on how you can edit the invoice. Now you can delete the invoice or add or delete line items, quantities, or prices as needed, and then when you are done, click on the Save button. This will remove the invoice from QuickBooks along with any journal entries. Now go back to the File, Post to QuickBooks screen to repost that invoice back to the QuickBooks program again. It is important to note if an invoice has a payment applied to it in QuickBooks, you must first remove the payment to be able to unpost the invoice from ESC. Additionally, if the invoice has a payment that has been deposited, you must clear that deposit and cancel the payment to free up the invoice for unposting. We want to emphasize that once an invoice has been posted from ESC to QuickBooks, the invoice should not be modified or edited within QuickBooks at all. Sometimes it is necessary to generate a list of all unposted invoices within ESC. This can be easily done in ESC by going to Sales, Reports, Sales Reports, and then finally Sales Report at the top. You will need to add the posting filter if it is not in your list of available filters. Click on the Add Filter button and scroll down in the list until you find the sales invoice filter called Posted, P if invoice is not posted. Click on the filter and it will immediately be added to the list of usable filters. Scroll to the bottom of the filter list and you will see a filter called Posted now. In the From field, click the down arrow and you can select the option No to tell the report that you want to return a list of all sales invoices that have not been posted to QuickBooks. Select the appropriate counting period or date range and preview the report to get a list of unposted invoices in ESC that meet the requirements of all selected filters. This concludes our tutorial on posting sales invoices from ESC to QuickBooks.